following podcast is sponsored by Mustang Joe's Avery's. If you've got a bird you want to contain, go with Joe. Mustang Joe's Avery's. This is Nerve. Welcome everybody to Afternoon Delight. It's FM and I'm Jack Marlon Jones and with me here today is Simon Schneider. Hello. John Thornton. Hi. And slow on the draw, Zach Dale Clutterbuck. And remember you can contact us at Ad Nerve Radio. Twitter, Twitter, Twitter. And what's the number, Simon, to text us? <laughs> well, the <laughs> Please number, don't, because... <laughs> the number uh, to text in to Nerve Radio, an afternoon delight comedy chat show, is 077-6640-4142. That's 077-6640-4142. And remember to put Nerve in the text. Also, say something nice. And add bees. Because we don't have a lot of self-confidence. Well, or self-esteem. We've hit the ground running today. Okay, so, guys... Or self-reliance. <laughs> <laughs> what can people... Or selfishness. <laughs> <laughs> Control the show. <laughs> okay, what people can expect for today on today's episode is we're going to be playing Jack Martin Jones' Agony Aunt. Where we take your problems and your game? queries. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Simon, people's <laughs> feelings people's aren't lives. a game. It's a game in the sense that you play with lives. Yes, Jack. Um, uh, we're going to be playing Agony Aunt. And also, after that, we're going to uh, talk about some uh, topical topics. What you guys uh, have heard happening in the world. We're going to sort of say some opinions on that. Everyone cool with that? And we're also going to play Zach's game, which goes by the name of Zach. Zach's game. Wicked. So... How is everyone? How is everyone's week? We're, we're all a bit tired, aren't we? No. Oh, Don't make assumptions All right. about I'm people based on appearances. You know what you call that? What? Profiling. Okay. Uh, how was your week then? Are you ecstatic? I'm not going to tell you now. I don't want to talk to a profiler. Goodbye. Okay, Jack, how was, how was your week? It's fine. Just fine? There's nothing interesting. Oh, wow. I'm saying. I haven't been doing my work, but I'm not tired. So I'm also offended. Okay, brilliant. And John, uh, finally, are you offended? Uh, no. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> well, that's good. Um, I personally have been up to a whole array of things. Like, I went into uh, Bournemouth Uni's um, production studio today, like where they do all the no, film. It's, nice it's so cool. Uh, the production students, I don't know if they know how lucky they are. They have a big computer room with computers and top of the line equipment where they see things. And then they have these massive cameras that can walk on the floor with wheels and record things. It's amazing. Do they have a four-leaf clover? No. Why? Then they're not that lucky. (laughs) 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 I'm back. (laughs) (laughs) Um, So, if nothing's happened in everybody's week, in that case... I had a dream last night. (laughs) Oh, what's your dream? (laughs) <laughs> well, that, that was, was, that was the music. introduction <laughs> to his dream. Um, basically, I decided I wanted to watch um, Die Hard 2, which I haven't seen like in my waking life. So yeah. I put it on, and basically I imagined the entire two-hour film. What happened? Uh, lots of shooting, not a lot else. But also, not just did I watch it, I sort of took part and got shot quite a lot. But you lived. It was a I, dream, I Simon. Think so. I, I, no, I mean in the context of the, the dream film. You're not going to be a doctor ever. Oh, well, that was a cutting judgment, and it almost felt like it came out of nowhere. I'm basing that off that he's doing a script writing degree. I'm th- I could still become a doctor. Why? I'm basing it off of he takes his medicine knowledge from Inception. Oh, but if you die he? in the dream, you die in real. Oh, oh. I never, sa- I never <laughs> said that. You asked him if he lived. He's in the room, okay. and it was a dream. Okay, fine. How did the dream pan out? Did these fictional bullet wounds in your fictional dream? Um, kill you, fictionally. Um, I don't think so. I I can't remember. Were you the you can't hero? Remember the end. I hope I was the hero. Or were you? The I villain? got shot quite a lot though, so <laughs> <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> so what Die Hard film have uh, Die Hard films have you seen? I've seen one. So well, the, first. the yeah. second one I can remember from. I haven't seen it, but I know the plot. I know that the bad guy in it was Hans Gruber, who was the bad guy in the first one. It was his little brother. Who came back um, for revenge? Yeah, but obviously he didn't get it. Spoilers. 
because <laughs> Bruce Willis did a shoot on him on his face, <laughs> which made his face go bang. So were you Hans Gruber's brother, or did you make him go away? Were you? I, can't remember, I, I just remember lots of shooting in a kitchen. What? Like, you never sort of show homes. Yeah. When they build like. I think you're thinking of Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Did you watch mm. Mr. and Mrs. Smith last night and think you had a dream? Was it? (laughs) No. I accidentally had Die Hard 2 as the title at the front. Like a really really bad... I don't know. I haven't seen any of either of them. Was was it an old VHS? For all I know, it might have been (laughs) Die Hard 3. (laughs) It could have been an old VHS and you taped over Die Hard 2. In the beginning, it said Die Hard 2. And then the actual movie was Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Yes. I'm still a teenager. Yeah. What is this? Vus? The H's. Oh, yeah. I'm like oh. a 40 year old man, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> I remember it because I remember Fox and the Hound. That oh, was yeah. good. That was but good. other than that, you have lost me. I don't think Die Hard was on that medium. It no. Was, actually, it, mi- it might be old enough to have been on Betamax. <laughs> really? Oh, I were they uh, at the same time, and that was really interesting, so let's move on. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, the Battle of Betamax and VHS. That's, that's wow, riveting. <laughs> um, don't forget Laserdisc. Shut I will. Up. I already. I already have. What's Laserdisc? <laughs> it's giant. It's giant versions of DVDs. <laughs> Seriously, that's what they are. <laughs> like vinyls. Yeah, <laughs> they are vinyls, but they're CDs, but giant, and they were called Laserdisc. Why were, were there they? any lasers? Why were they? Yeah. What do you mean? Why were what they? What was the point? Well, they were before CDs. Oh, they didn't you just have, think you like have to CDs. invent the big thing to <laughs> yeah. invent the small thing. Yeah, that's how it works. What's that? Um, there's like that. Not rule, but um, uh, a theorist sets. I can hear your coins jingling in your pocket. I don't know how. Um, uh, <laughs> there was uh, that theorist who said that like every two years, a uh, sort of product or a sort of piece of hardware gets smaller or sort of at half in size, price, or um, something else. Um, there's something about halving in size and doubling in power for like computers. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. Do, do that's you think the true. iPhone needs to get smaller? No. It's gotten bigger. That's what the iPhone yeah, 5 was. That's a bigger iPhone yeah, 4. Yeah, that's what they, like, cause they use, with like non smartphones, it was like smaller and smaller and smaller. And then they got to smartphones that were like bigger and bigger and bigger. So like now people are walking around with like plasma TVs in their pockets. It's because you want to touch them with your finger hands. Or face. Yeah. That'd yeah. be FaceTime. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna. Oh God! <laughs> I did, um, uh, Sorry, I got excited. Have you guys have you guys bought into that whole Google Glasses thing? Yeah, I what? haven't bought into it because I can't afford it, but yeah. I want it more than anything in the world. <laughs> Why? It doesn't Apart look interesting. Um, <laughs> I'm just waiting for Google trousers. Yeah. <laughs> Think about it. Like, you control it with your eye, right? The Google Glasses. I don't. Know. I don't care. Do you? I don't know or care. Do you I, control re- it with I think your I eye? read something about that. Otherwise, you'd have your hands on your glasses all the time. And you'd well, look no, a bit you silly. could just have a little thing in your pocket that moves it. Yeah. Like an iPhone. Well, no, like a little no. controller. Or like even a, thing, like a laser pointer size controller. Just in your regardless, pocket. I don't think that's very good. I think it should be. Oh, and moving it with your eyes when you're no, no, that's what I'm about to say. That's what I'm about to say. It's controlled by your thoughts, Simon. <laughs> What if it is? You don't know. You've done no research. Yes, I, I have. might have. I read an article. You've seen the name of the AR product article. and no. a picture of it. I That's read all you've done. I read a BBC News article that Did was you? talking about it, and there was a picture of a lady with the glasses on. What was her name? No <laughs> research. None. <laughs> Every week, the same story. Well, not the same <laughs> not story. The same. No story. <laughs> Every week, Google Glass. <laughs> um, regardless, then, I can still have an opinion on it. No. <laughs> Surely, if it's uh, reacts to your eye movement, you'll be clicking on things and like I don't know, doing silly stuff without realizing. I don't think it reacts to. It can't, know, honestly, it now, without jokes aside, even though this is a comedy chat show, um, uh, don't you think it's I probably remem- voice activated? Mm. Yeah, I no, I remember reading go. that it does respond to eye movements. Also, I imagine it does respond to eye movements in that it won't be have stuff in the way of where you're looking. Yeah. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah. I think it's going to be like um, hood on video games, so you can see like your health bar yeah. and your magic amount, and also yeah. where you're trying to go. And but mostly cu- health and magic. And your current weapon. Yes. yes. <laughs> Which is, of course, baby. <laughs> if you're a parent, <laughs> if you're a driver, steering wheel, whatever you're holding at the time. Are you surely you won't be? What do you guys think about being able to wear them whilst driving? Because that could people get go distracted. N- people get distracted <laughs> in conversations by iPhones. Drivers no. shouldn't be allowed. 
if you're allowed a GPS, yeah. yeah, then when they're in the car, just disable all the functions that aren't the GPS yeah. on the phone. Okay, I agree with that. If you don't have the sense to do that, whoosh, get off my planet. <laughs> cool. Um, have you? Some of the footage I did see, it does actually link up to Google Maps. So, like, when you're walking past a train station or something, prompts come up on the glass, and you can see, like, not only um, the website for the train station as you're walking by, but all the trains that go in and all of that sort of stuff. It will be cool. What would you? I guys think what's been ignored is that you'll look like a future man. Jerk future around. man. Yeah, you'll yeah. look like that guy. You'll look like you'll John look, Futureman, look, man of the future. It looks like the sunglasses you wear whilst playing cricket, which you don't wear in public. Yeah, the woman that was wearing it, sorry, I don't know her name. In the picture, did look a bit dumb. Well, That's her name mean. was Susan. No, it wasn't. Just to start off with, no, it wasn't. He's Susan profiling smooth. again. Um, I don't it, look. I don't care what people think about what I look like, all right? <laughs> if I want to have a That's fine... That's why you're on radio. ...a fine gadget <laughs> on my eyes and face, I'm going to get one because it'll make my life better. And then people must have looked crazy when they had handheld phones and were just talking at their hand. People are like, why are they talking to their hand? Oh, no, it's a phone. No, but now they're not doing that. They yeah. look even more crazy. With what, when they're just walking down, like, talking into their headphones, oh. just talking to themselves. They do look crazy, but then you see that they've got technology, and you're like, that's cool. They're communicating with but a person who's not here. It. So if you're a crazy mm. person out there who talks to himself a lot, just, like, put wires on yourself, <laughs> just, and just then you have technology. <laughs> <laughs> okay, on that marvellous note, I think we're going to put on a couple tunes. What? Well, well that was a hinting nice, to what we're going nice to play. Nice one, Simon. Yeah, it's I know. Beautiful. We're going to be playing my favourite song, Chocolate by the 1975. I hope y'all enjoy. This is Nerve. Uh, hello, welcome to Afternoon Delight. It's not the morning, it's not the evening, and it's not a bad time. Afternoon Delight. You can... <laughs> <laughs> do you want to talk to us? You can do that. You can at Nerve Radio Twitter us um, and uh, like Facebook at it and do a text into the studio on 07766 404142. That's the number. Put Nerve in it, probably. I don't know. I'm not a pro. I'm not a cop. I'm not going to tell you how to text a studio. You figure it out. What? I'm out. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> That's the second walkout. Um, okay, so... The next 15 minutes will be dedicated to a now regular feature, Jack Martin Jones's Agony Aunt. I'm back in yeah. for this. Okay, yeah. cool. And uh, this is where we take your tweets and uh, we look through them and find sort of the people who clearly need some help and some sort of guidance in their lives and we direct their queries to Jack Martin Jones uh, and he'll do his best to help you out. Now, so I'm just going to look through the texts a bit. All right, um, yeah, I see yeah. one here. We've got one from Squeezy Watsits. Oh, wicked. And it says, is this a game to you, Jack? Is it the show or life in general? Just It's a tweet. How, mm. you know. Yeah, they've not well, they have 140 of... characters. They could have specified. Maybe they had a busy day, Squeezy Watsits. <laughs> oh, then I get it. Yes, it's a game. Oh, well. Unless it's this, then that, it's not a game because Simon's wrong. Well, that in it's that agony. I hope you enjoy it, Squeezy Wants It's. Wow, you really helped him out, Jack. <laughs> what? His answer is it's not even agony on. <laughs> <laughs> that was just, is this a game? He was asking a fact. <laughs> um, there's uh, one here from Jeffrey Boycott, the uh, former English cricket. Um, was it? <laughs> yeah. Cricket. Oh. Uh. <laughs> um, he's saying, my belly button fluff isn't fluffy enough. What do you recommend? Oh, this is a uh, tough get you, okay. Open your vacuum <laughs> and put the lint of the vacuum in your belly button and mix it around <laughs> with the belly button fluff. But no one will know which is yours and which is theirs. Yes, especially if you don't take it from them. Yeah, <laughs> or you could go to other people's belly buttons mm. and take their belly button. That fluff. would be my advice, just because then it's more reliable and more like a toupee. And Personally, it's more social. I'd, I'd probably go for some fabric softener. Mm. Oh, stir it in there. Yeah. Would that make it more fluffy? No, but it make it softer. Yeah. Oh, then people would just not notice the f less fluffiness. And then you can caress your love's small head inside of your belly button if I'm the so head proud. fits. I'm so proud. I am so proud. This is the most detail and devotion you've ever put into an agony aunt. You've probably truly helped this person. Oh. 
Come. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not hell. <laughs> okay. Moving on to. Oh, here's a good one. Pink Flamingo 17. Why do all of them have horrible names? Because it's Except Squeezy every, Watson. What's, what's wrong with Jeffrey Boycott? <laughs> it's a silly name. <laughs> that's, a, that's a real name. Yeah, Jeff. <laughs> Everyone on Twitter has a silly name. No, like 90% of them have silly names. Mine's not silly. Mine's just my name reversed. Well, not even reversed. <laughs> It's his name swapped round, but he's not going to say it on the radio <laughs> because all of you out there on Radio Land might tweet him a rude word. Okay. <laughs> Pink Flamingo 17 says, I think my neighbour's working on a homemade bomb. Ooh. I, I, That's not a question. A home- no, it's not a question. That's but a I statement. Think, I think it's mm. wa- oh, a oh worried no. statement looking for guidance. All right, Pink Flamingo, if that is 17. your real name. Pink Flamingo 17. That's why I'm not sure if it's their real name. <laughs> what? Because it's, got, <laughs> because it's got a number in it. Mm. Mm. Okay. N- normal names don't. Well, no, it must be a real name because there's 16 others with, <laughs> with that name. Minimum. That's, okay, that's a good point. Ask them. Mm. Ask. Yeah, that's, that's if they're your enough. neighbour and we're following Neighborly the love. rule of God, trust your neighbour. Uh, in War and Peace, yeah, yeah, the strategic military book, they say that the best way to be avoid war. <laughs> is to be prepared for it. Build <laughs> your own bomb. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Start your own well, cold war. This is, de- so we're advocating this. Brilliant. By the way, we're not, and neither does Subu or Noah Radio. <laughs> but um, uh, I'm saying what Sun Tzu said in War and Peace. Okay, Sun Tzu. War and Peace. It's not War and Peace. It's not War the and Peace. Of That's war. A, yeah, the the art, art of War. Yeah, the War and Peace is a famous novel from the 1800s. By Dostoevsky. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. So <laughs> essentially, you're, essentially, you're recommending get a um, degree in. Welcome to lying radio. <laughs> get a degree in English literature. When you first said it, first time, I was like, oh, he's just making a joke. He's not actually. Thinking I was it having was... a go at both at the same time. <laughs> Truth and jokes for the people. What's oh. next? <laughs> yeah. yeah, swiftly moving on. Um, hmm. Ooh. Okay. Fatmaster 3 says, I forgot my birthday. Oh, God. Is it today? Um, are you Fat Master Three? Are you covered in your mother's placenta? <laughs> 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 that, that Kids these days, <laughs> they're on Twitter so fast. <laughs> there's no time to mature. Um, I can't top that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in that case, moving on. Uh, Double Dunker posts in. I've only played the violin twice, and I have to play for the London Philharmonic tomorrow. What? Then they, you must be pretty good. Yeah, if you got mm. past the audition stages after only playing twice, I'd say have confidence in yourself. In don't, fact, you yeah. don't even need beta blockers. You know, guys. I, d- I once again, I don't want to stop you from being good, Agony Aunt. But for everyone that's listening, disregard the make the bomb advice. The be confident in yourself stuff, though, might might actually work. Well, Play the violin. Yeah, that's that's good. Take I the think. stage. Play the Do it. Violin. Don't play the drums. Don't play the, the bassoon. Mm. Don't take the, the bassoon. bassoon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, or the corn lay. Now, Remember. having helped Double Dunker, his ooh special. Wait a minute. What? He didn't specify he was playing violin for them. Oh. Yeah, he did. I've only played did violin he? twice. Yeah, yeah no, but no, he no, could no. have been he a drummer. Violin. He could have been the drummer. Oh, God. Don't play drums with the violin. Don't play the violin with the drums. Okay. Do we... the thing you are asked to do. Do it properly, on time, at the place. Wear a suit. Don't have, like, soup before it and spill it down. Just, just get it right, D- Dunker. Bring a second <laughs> suit just to make sure that okay. your first suit Okay, someone special die. has tweeted in. Leonard Nimoy Official says... Why does none of my food look like cartoon food? That stuff looks delicious. Cartoon food? Not all cartoon food looks well, delicious. Well, um, that's because, uh, Leonard, you see, in real life, we only live in standard definition. We haven't yet upgraded to HD. Ah. That's coming March 2014, I believe. <laughs> you heard it here first. I don't believe that. I'm, I don't, but... um. <laughs> if you want your food to look more like a cartoon... Just get a big felt tip pen. Yeah, draw around it. Draw around <laughs> but it. But some food in cartoons <laughs> looked like sludge and just like gruel. I think I think disgust. Leonard Nimoy is a, a referring to the good looking stuff. Yeah, well, Plus, then you could say that, that about gruel, real life. That gruel still has an outline, so my advice still stands. I mm. win. Yeah. I win. <laughs> you next. win Agony Arm. I'm next. <laughs> <laughs> You're next. <laughs> Uncle. <laughs> okay, um, Having hopefully, maybe, potentially helped a couple lives, we're going to put on a song, and then after that, you guys can expect our new segment, including regular feature, 
Beanus. M- Nos. With these. <laughs> Be- Beanus. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Okay, here's we're a play. song. My favourite. Uh, <laughs> cannibal. Marika Hackman. Hannibal. No, it's, it says cannibal. Okay, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> DJ! <laughs> Wicked. See you guys soon. I would have liked. Listen live at nerdmedia.org.uk. Hello and welcome back to Afternoon Delight with me, your host, John Thornton. <laughs> we're live on Nerve FM. I don't know what the radio station is, but that doesn't matter because you're already listening. <laughs> if you would like to do more than listen and contact us, you can tweet in at, at Nerve Radio, or you can like us on Facebook and then post, or you can text the studio. Start your text with Nerve Radio and then send your message to 07766404142. Yes. You oh. don't have to, though. Yeah, but we're not gonna make. We won't come to your house. And no. Do that thing where we twist your arm behind your back. We won't do that. And we won't give you an Indian burn. No. Yeah, I was gonna say. No, I knew them as Chinese burns at school. But regardless, they're oh. both racist. <laughs> yes, yeah. they are. <laughs> <laughs> regardless, does anyone in the studio have any topical news to talk about? <laughs> Yeah, it's B News today. Hey, it's, it's, is everyone excited? Don't sound excited, guys. About B News. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Well, it's really more. I, B- I'm not going to say that. Just pretend I didn't say this, but I'm buzzing. Well, for the it. news part of today is bees are a problem in London, apparently. Oh God. Bees are overpopulated by forty percent. Bees are overpopulated. <laughs> yeah, not there's too many bees in London. Oh, I thought you meant that there they was. They come over yeah. here. <laughs> Stealing <laughs> and make our honey. <laughs> Fill up our hives. Take our bee women. <laughs> Take out wasps, which I think are lady yes, bees. Uh, <laughs> no, wasps are man bee. Oh, right. So the bees are the ladies. Yeah, and then hornets are like, what are they? They're children. <laughs> or dogs for bees, I don't know. Bee dogs. <laughs> dogs for bees. <laughs> With their spider web leads. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that's a thing. Smelling bees. <laughs> you almost killed that. Bees smell better than dogs. Oh, I thought you meant spelling bees. Bees smell better than dogs? <laughs> yes. Well, that wet dog smells bad, but <laughs> I imagine bees would smell of honey, but which um, would be nice, <laughs> yes. Here's some uh, other facts about <laughs> bees. <laughs> <laughs> bees can't see the colour red. Yeah, they can. No. Yeah. Prove it. Uh, well, I don't have a bee on hand, but uh, if, if they we were here, they wouldn't be able you. to see your shirt. <laughs> My shirt's no, not they w- red, red. It's like so they would just see straight through to his flesh. No, they would just be confused. <laughs> would, well, the color red confuses them. Yes. Mine's just I'd sort of red marl. So would they see the marl? Well, no, I would imagine it was just black. By the way, right, does that okay, actually I was work with? Say. Does it's not like it's vacant. Bulls? What people say bulls don't like the color red. That's a lie. Yeah, no, they don't like movement. Oh, okay. Also being stabbed. Or maybe bees don't like the color red. No, know. they do because I've seen them do the. <laughs> With yes. red flowers. Yeah. That's because of the pollen. Yeah, so the red Not doesn't the put them petals. off. petals. But I thought that bees were attracted to bright colours. Yeah, but they can't see red. So we'll why are they attracted to those flowers? Yeah, why because are the pollen. Flowers? They could still They're have actually smell attracted pollen. to pollen. But they like <laughs> the colourful flowers. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's other insects. No, because bees are girls. Did Girls you know? like pretty flowers. Did you know bees communicate by dancing? Yes! Yeah. I learned it from Future Armor. Oh, sorry. Fine. <laughs> okay, is, is, is B-News... No, I still got two more facts. Okay. And then some promotion. Facts. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wings of bees go 11,400 times a minute, and that's how they make the buzzing noise. I thought they all had very, very small kazoos. Ooh. I was going to go Maybe with motorbikes. <laughs> <laughs> Sky motorbikes. And it takes 17 They all just go around playing for town traffic. It takes 17 pounds for bees to make beeswax out of honey. That's quite expensive. Yeah. And beeswax <laughs> sucks. <laughs> oh, wow. We're full of the humour today. Um, and and traffic now promotion. Is like under three minutes long. <laughs> if you want to know about bees... <laughs> <laughs> then you can pay a subscription <laughs> of £33 pound We're to not the British, selling. Uh, the British 
be <laughs> you make that sound like... so shady as, hey kids do you want to know about bees <laughs> I could teach you get in my van <laughs> why is it get Ray in, Winston get in my bee van and you don't have to pay any extra money to them if you have under four colonies of bees <laughs> 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 uh, a colony sounds like yeah. quite a lot yeah <laughs> How many is a colony? But they, uh, four to five colonies is two pound a year. Extra. I thought they'd been like abolished. Oh! History, but they didn't. Get, <laughs> they didn't give a specific over twenty-five. So I'm assuming you get it for free yeah, if so you get be, more than twenty-five. You'd be foolish four. not to go up to a hundred at that yeah. price. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just that be news. So what if people wanted to hear about news that wasn't be specific? Uh, how on, do you think? Like, you know the stripes on bees? Do they make them go faster? Only no, up and down hor- because they're horizontal. Yeah, they're horizontal. <laughs> so they can fall and fly upwards It makes really them look fast. faster. No, it doesn't. Oh, is it? Is that the wrong way around? No, because we think it makes them look faster, it actually makes them look better. I don't actually know thinner. which way around it was supposed to be. I, I just, I just guessed. But whichever one is well, the, the right one, that's the wrong one. <laughs> vertical ones supposedly make you look taller, horizontal, fatter, but it, on, because only we know that. when you're stood next to someone who is thinner or Smaller Smaller yeah. Plus, because we know it in our minds, it has the reverse effect now. Oh, yeah. Apparently, oh, really? I saw it on the QI. Yeah, but so now oh, we yeah. know that. Does it have a re- reverse that effect? That was the problem on the QI. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're back to square one, really. Yeah. Anyway, okay. have we got any real news uh, that people other than beekeepers will be interested yeah. in? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I'm um, sorry to all the beekeepers out there, our main audience. Well, look, we have <laughs> just spent like five minutes on them <laughs> they should feel good they're the only like group that we cater to yeah, this is afternoon de hive. <laughs> yeah. oh. Oh. that didn't really work no not at all let's hope the it news did is for better them. does anyone know the brand of ice cream called gelato it's american isn't it yeah it, yeah it, it's like yeah, fat yeah, free ice cream on my face before i shave <laughs> <laughs> uh, man yeah. wow you're um, on it today well apparently it's not ice cream no okay. it's shaving time <laughs> Okay, I've well, already made that joke. I know where that's happening, so <laughs> I'm going to just change the topic. Man sues council for £33,000 after slipping on berries. Oh, dear. In a churchyard. What did, What happened to him after that happened? He broke a bone, and then he died suspiciously. But not of that? Not of berries. Oh, possibly so, assassination. Yeah. Well, maybe we're not saying there. the council has assassinated anyone. I well, maybe someone else was trying to kill him, and they put berries. Maybe oh, wow. when he went into the churchyard, it was covered in berries. Maybe it was <laughs> squirrels. <laughs> Ooh. What, did he what do was his this? job? I don't know. Well, that would be he was way. retired. He but was retired at the time. Well, what did he do before then? He was retired when he was a baby. I'll say solicitor. <laughs> because this is the thing. He we can figure this solicitor. Yeah, okay. You made this up. I uh, know. <laughs> That's not news <laughs> if you made it up. <laughs> okay. Well. Unless it's in the sun. Way. Way. Oh, slander. It doesn't reflect the views. I know where it yeah. happened. <laughs> it doesn't, doesn't reflect any views um, of anyone. I know okay. his name. Okay, okay what's uh, his name? Robert Marsh. Robert Marsh? And it was in Bromyard. Oh, no. In oh, I'm sorry, I have to go now. <laughs> oh. I didn't know it was him. <laughs> yeah. not, not Robert Marsh. <laughs> no, I don't know. I'll figure out this mystery for next week. All right, wicked. Mm. We're not on next week. This is our last show. Yeah, well. But you'll figure it out I'll anyway. I'll still be there. This is not the last show, is it? Yeah. Oh. Ever. Oh, I'm sorry Just for like disappointing everyone. <laughs> Plug. <laughs> um, well, okay. It's gone now. <laughs> it's dead. Okay, now just before we put on a couple. Wait, more I had another. Sort of I had another topic. You can g- go to Angry it then. giraffe chases tourists. That's all I know. Mm. Okay. <laughs> and family moved out of house because of pet pig. That's what? Their family family had a pet pig, which took over the house. No, they had to leave the house. And left the pig. Mm, I, uh, no, the I think they took the crack? pig. I think they <laughs> took the pig with them. I think the count. I think the so count. Peop- it's the council again. Maybe oh Robert God. Marsh was protecting the family. Maybe he was their no, solicitor. So the story here is <laughs> some people have moved house. Yes. Yeah, because they the had pig. a pig. Did they move on the pig? <laughs> <laughs> or under the pig? <laughs> Did they go <laughs> through the pig? I don't know. But that, maybe they lived in the pig. Well, then they wouldn't have to move. No, the pig would have to move. Then they would have moved. They wouldn't well. have moved house first. The house would have moved. <laughs> <laughs> on that note, on that bewildering, confusing, confuddling News. note, um, Zach. Remember, thirty-three pound. <laughs> <laughs> after after some songs, Zach, we're gonna play Zach's game, which goes by the name of Zach's game. And before we put on the songs, 
Explain Zach's game, please. Zach's game. The game called Zach's game. To play Zach's game, I ask you a simple question. You have to answer it in the most wrong way possible and then justify your wrong answer as best you can. It's out of two rounds, but it's the same question. Five points for... Up to five points for best wrong answer, up to five points for best justification. This week's question is a toughie, so I threw a clue in in the question. What is the goal of the game football? That again is, what is the goal of the game football? Okay, well... Be racist. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> answers after the break, John. You've got <laughs> yeah. time to think. Yeah, uh... People in the studio will be answering that after the break. If you at home have any ideas of how football is played or what's the point of a goal in football... What's the goal <laughs> of the game football? Um, then please tweet in at Nerve Radio on Twitter or you can find us on Facebook on Nerve Radio or you can text in on 07766404142. Okay, cool, wonderful. I'm going to put on a tune. You won't ever guess, though. It's my favourite tune. It's Charlie Brown by Coldplay. Wicked. Wicked. No. No. Uh, <laughs> no. It's okay. It's no. Charlie Brown by Coldplay. Beautiful. And when I say Charlie Brown by Coldplay, I mean Lay Down Your Weapons by Cave Folks oh featuring Peter Aura. <laughs> Wicked. No. no. Uh, <laughs> he was. Yay! Means anything. Listen live. At nerdmedia.org.uk And we're back on Afternoon Delight. Hello. Okay, so we're going to play Zach's game for the last 15 minutes of our show, or actually it's nine minutes, regardless. We're going to play Zach's game, and could you re-explain the rules to Zach's game, please? Okay, Zach's game. It's a game about questions and answers. I ask you a very simple question. You've got to give me the most wrong answer you can to that simple question and then justify it as well as you can. The question today is, what is the goal of the game football? Has anyone got any answers? I might have one. I do. You got one, Jack? No, I'm not. Well, kidding. we'll come to you last then. Oh, okay. <laughs> Simon, <laughs> oh, your God. answer and explanation to the question, what is the goal of the game football? Well, my answer is, Music interludes. Very good. Very good. Do you want the explanation now? Yeah, please. Okay. My explanation for musical interludes is a lot of footballers, right, have um, famous wives. Famous wives that might be part of girl bands or um, musical... Boy bands. Or boy <laughs> bands or uh, musical-based endeavours. Now... Because the footballers make quite a lot of money and go playing the games and go, wee, give me kick around football, money, 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 um, and then come back with all that money, they then, to impress their very pretty and very rich wives, they transfer the money to their accounts and give it to them. Then the pop stars and or, you know, <laughs> big names use that to fund their own musical careers, which in turn add to musical interludes to sporting events such as Super Bowl and stuff like that. That is my answer. Interesting. Ooh. Okay then. Let's pass it over to John. What's the goal of the game football, John? Um, to turn your foot into a ball as quickly as possible before your competitor turns his or her foot into a ball. That's a very good answer. Can I have your uh, justification for this please? That's why it's called football. Sure. And also, <laughs> you, you know, it, it, your, your feet have balls in them. You got your balls <laughs> of the feet. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, well, mm, historic moment possibly in this game for John Thornton. I don't think we've really played very much, so there's a, it's a quite a good answer. We've got some competition here, Simon. All right, Not Jack. Really. Oh. Let's see what you've got. The goal. Of whatever football, whatever the question was, I can't even remember it anymore. <laughs> the, it it popped the ball and put it on your head. <laughs> 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 all right, okay, explain. Because the whole point, uh, supposedly, is that it's all about entertainment. <laughs> and would you not be entertained if, you know, someone popped the ball and put it on their head and danced on the field? Hmm. Hmm. 
So that's what you're saying. The goal is entertainment. Well, yeah, Not but it's also the ball. opposite of an actual goal. Hmm. 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 Does anyone want to challenge anyone um, about their views on what the? I would, but we've got six minutes. We've got six minutes left. Yeah, so we're gonna play one song, All uh, right, then. and then you're gonna come back with the answers. And uh, afternoon, w- afternoon delight. We'll have to wave goodbye, and that's always a shame. All right. Watch out for uh, Barmay. I don't know. Uh, by Major Lazer, my favourite song. No. No, it's not happening. Back to Afternoon Delight. Hello. How is everyone? Doesn't matter, because we're <laughs> moving on to the results. <laughs> quick round, quick we don't round. care Don't care around anyone, on, so Jack. it's fine. Okay, in first place, playing Zach's game, is John Thornton. Yes! With a total of eight points. Got five in the first round for a wonderful Pumbe's dancer. His explanation was a bit lacking, so he only got three, but still, there you go. <laughs> you win a cough. Yes. <laughs> Second place, we have Simon Schneider. His answer was good. I really liked his uh, actual answer. It was very wrong. But I feel like in some way you may have been inspired by the Super Bowl, which always have a big halftime show, which is part of the point of American football. So you got a point off your first ah. answer. And I didn't really like your explanation. It was lacking a bit, rambled on. It wasn't very funny, so you only got seven points for that altogether. Fair enough. And Jack, you got five, because you were rubbish, to be honest. Oh, yeah? yeah you, put, you originally <laughs> gave me a better score, and then you set me down. Why? Yeah, I thought about it. Why? Because it was rubbish. Yeah, oh, you gave well, me a like you. Score, it down as well. I'm never having him on the yeah, I've changed. Again. I've changed everyone's score. <laughs> I'm kicking score. you off. The only one that I haven't changed was John's rubbish explanation score. No, so <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. You okay. usually do quite well, so... No. I'm Whatever. Gonna, I'm going to go home and cry now. Well, Thanks. I'll come with you and cuddle your ears. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, um, I hope everyone enjoyed listening to us. And oh. next show is Anthony Willis. And next show with game time. is Anthony Willis with Game Time. Anthony. Stay tuned to that. Yep. Oh. Okay. He's not an ant. <laughs> no. We just need to make Anthony, that clear. Anthony, like the bees make. <laughs> Disclaimer. <laughs> Okay. Remember, thirty-three pound <laughs> per year. <laughs> <laughs> so long, farewell, of Fida Zane and good night. We were afternoon delight. No. 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 Oh, are we not finished? We are. No, we're still going. Uh, no, we're it's, it's no song. Um. It's the same song from last time. Right. Hope you guys enjoyed the podcast. Don't forget about Mustang Joe's Avery's. I use one myself. Yep, my cockatoo Pierce hasn't been able to leave his cage for five years. <laughs> There's a look in his eyes saying that he just wants to fly. But that's not going to happen. See you guys later.